So, Aaron Brown, 100 meter final. Just tell me, tell me how you felt just after the final. Uh, I got out well, and then I messed up the transition, which I did all three rounds, and that's why I ran the same time. But, you know, I've been consistent, and uh, I'm just waiting for my breakthrough. You know, I'm going to keep working at it. I'm going to keep running the 100, getting better at it, growing as an athlete. And uh, this championship isn't over for me, so I still got the 200, and I'm looking to do better things. Absolutely, and like you said, you got the 200. How do you use maybe this race as motivation going into the 200? Um, you know, people look at me as a 200 guy, so to get in the 100-meter final is encouraging. Uh, bodes well for what I can do in the 200. I know I can start with the best in the world, um, and I have my race pattern down better in the 200, so I'm expecting bigger things. Nice, nice. And then even looking forward, um, you know, for the rest of the season and even like years um, in the future, I mean, like you said, you've been super, super consistent. Um, what do you look to do in the you know, future years as you go forward? Just keep getting better, man. I'm, I'm chasing that podium. Um, I really believe I can get there. I just got to keep putting the work, keep believing and keep keep working. You know, the grind never stops. Um, you know, I wanted to place better today, but it's just more fuel to the fire. Just lets me know I got more work to do, but I'm on my way. Yeah. And then just representing Canada on the biggest stage year after year. What does that mean to you? It's an honor every time I put on the Maple Leaf, man. Um, never gets old. This is my fifth world championships and it's still exciting like the first one. Um, every opportunity I get to compete with the best in the world, I don't take those for granted and I cherish every moment. Um, this one's especially proud because, you know, I have my son and I know one day he's going to look back and I'm sure he's at home watching the screen, not knowing what's going on because he's only 17 months, but he's still excited just to see his pops on, on the on stage. So, yeah, um, I'm going to keep going, you know. I have no intentions of stopping anytime soon. I'm gonna come back better, and like I said, 200 time. Nice. And then you've been everywhere, right? Tokyo, Rio, uh, Doha. You know now Eugene. Do you have a favorite place that you've ever raced? Uh, I mean, it's hard to beat Eugene. Honestly, going back to my um, college days at USC, you know, racing here is always special. I love that Hayward Field. Hayward Magic is always special, but. London's another great place for me, even though I haven't had the best luck. I got disqualified there in 2017, but um, yeah, I love racing on London's track. Uh, Tokyo was nice, and yeah, I'll, I'll go with those. And then just uh, one more question: you, you know, you have your, you know, you had a child, and you're a role model, of course, for your child and for so many others. But who are some of your role models? It's people that you look up to um, as you've gotten into the sport and as you've navigated through. Yeah, um, getting into the sport, obviously, being a Canadian sprinter, you always look up to Donovan Bailey. He's like the icon in Canada. But um, one other one is Justin Gatlin. You know, I, I train with him. He's retired now, but he's still a mentor for me. He's always giving me advice. I'm sure he's going to say something when I get to my phone about the race. But, um, yeah, he's definitely someone I look up to, just his championship medal, how he's able to come out here and, you know, get it done on the biggest stage. So, yeah. Was there any intimidation of, like, you know, you look up to Justin Gatlin, you know, his entire career, and it's like, hold up, I'm training with him? Like, <laughs> Justin? <laughs> Uh, a little bit at first, but, you know, it, I got over that pretty quickly once I, you know, I'm, I'm good in the fall and he's more of a, a spring guy, like when we do short sprints. So I was beating up on everybody pretty good in the fall when we're doing our long runs. And after that, I was like, oh, OK, I'm, 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 I've made it. And then once block time came around, he showed me why he's Justin Kelly. <laughs> but uh, no, nah, man, he's, he's very easy to talk to. I know he's, he's misunderstood in the media for his past and all that stuff. But when you get to know him and you train with him, he's a really great guy and he's always helping me progress and uh, I'm at the spot where I am because of him so shout out to him. Aaron Brown you always cooking super consistent looking forward to the 200 brother. No, appreciate it. Appreciate it.